how you doing? I got uh, a couple things I want to say. One, I I hate fall, and those leaves over there are changing color. As you can see, there's a bit of yellow coming out in the leaves. That's that's not good. Uh, come on, focus, focus. Zoom. See when they start changing color like this. Yuck! You know it's beginning of fall. Yeah, so I hate fall. <laughs> I hate winter much, much more. A um, couple things uh, that I want to say is that. Uh, also, uh, as for the truck, uh, not much is really, really happening right now. I uh, found some pieces of uh, insulation that I thought might go well in my truck. This one here is that blue kind of, it's a whatever, styrofoam blue. I thought that might go well on the sides, on the walls. And also, well, I'll show you that one later. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the styrofoam, fuck it, it's not what I want to show you. Not, not today, anyways. Whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, what is it? One, I cooked uh, some beef barley soup, and I have a hot chocolate. And this kettle, I realized, when this kettle is three quarters full or so, and when I put seven of those small tea light candles on the bottom here and put this on top of it, one hour, that thing is whistling Dixie, man. I'm telling you, hot water in one hour. Seven little candles under this thing here, right underneath, will heat up water boiling, boiling hot, scalding even. Um, yeah, uh, what I want to say is I, uh, well, I don't want to say I got back into acting. I mean, I've been trying to always be in acting, but, you know, it's, the, it's a tough racket out there. Uh, someone called me up and said they wanted me in a movie. Uh, so they got my picture through my school and information and whatever. Uh, I went for a read-through. We all sit down. Uh, we all read through it. And uh, But the thing is, is that it was a French film. And I said to them, I don't speak French. I can, but it's not perfect. And it's not definitely not France French. So uh, anyways, uh, they heard me speak. And they're like, you know what? Come on, let's go for the read-through. We, we still want to see. All right, fine. So I go for it. And uh, I guess you could call it an audition, but I think they had in their, in their head that they already wanted me to do the part. Uh, so anyways, I got the part last Saturday and Sunday, uh, two days full of filming uh, inside a restaurant, outside and inside a condo. Uh, I gotta say this about acting. You meet the craziest, funniest, good people you can think of. I mean, I... I've had all kinds of different jobs. I've worked in the circus, I've done the security, I've done all kinds of jobs. But when it comes to acting, the strangest thing is that I don't find that bullshit drama that you find in every other job. You know? It's like uh, employees hating each other. Oh, he said this, she said that. Who the fuck cares for that garbage? In acting, I've never come across it. I've never got a hint of it. A whiff of it. Like, I don't even think it exists. If it does, people are really good at hiding it. Um, yeah, so the part, uh, get this. Uh, you know I uh, live in my truck in back at a restaurant of where I work. The, uh, one of this, <laughs> one of the scenes that they mentioned to me on the phone uh, at first was, uh, they go, yes, here's a scene for you. Picture this. You're in the back of a restaurant. You're a bum. You're going through the garbage. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. Like, I thought I was on candid camera or something. Like, really? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> I think I have the part down to uh, perfect. Uh, but anyways, I, uh, it was a blast. To, why am I holding this so close? I have no idea, you know? I mean, not that I stink. I mean, I shower, obviously. I have a shower right there, you know? Um, it's just this camera's so heavy and so far away, and it's like... So I had a blast as always. Acting is my favorite job out of every any job I've ever had in my entire life. Paid or unpaid, acting is the best job ever. Uh, I enjoy it all mess. It's just 
it's everything from a stress reliever. You get to meet great people. I think I have a few extra subscribers on YouTube and people that like me now more or whatever on more followers on Facebook, whatever. Because, you know, you just meet people. And that's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, this is actually my uh, nephew's bag, old uh, backpack right here. I, uh, I have the clothing all inside it, torn jeans, a real ugly green shirt and whatever. I'm telling you, makeup in the movies, they're fantastic. They can do wonders. Uh, you know, they made me, they dirtied me up, like everything from in between, under my nails, between my fingers, all the way up my arms, face, neck, you know, when you get the sweat stains. And, yeah, they, you know, they do all that. Uh, in fact, I even mentioned to him in a, a certain part where it's like I'm supposed to be all dressed to the nines, uh, lying in some four post huge bed in some condo for one scene. Except for, I told them, all right, but I'm not clean, clean. And they go, no, your face is going to be still dirty, but you're in a suit. And I'm like, okay, what if I, I gave him this idea. What if I have one foot sticking out the end of the bed and it's my bare foot and it's freaking black. I mean, like dirty. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. You know, they're all excited about it. So they did. The makeup artists, there were like two of them. Both of them were kind of like, uh, you know, we, uh, they were saying in French, I guess, Kind of figuring i don't speak french so they were saying yeah we don't do feet uh, we don't like to touch people's feet and all that stuff so the person who hired me said "Fuck it i'll do it you know so she uh her name jess jesse yeah she she's like i'll do it no problem she was gung-ho all the way man uh so there she took up my shoe took up my sock i was clean like i said i showered and uh you know she's doing all the makeup on my foot and uh i found that really cool i mean i'm ticklish but I wasn't ticklish at that time when she did that. It was really weird. Uh, okay, so uh, as for the acting thing, I'm going to throw in one picture. And when I get more pictures from the photographer on set, photographer from him, and then I'll post more pictures. And uh, yeah, uh, from the restaurant, there's uh, we have these jugs of oil, by the way. Uh, one was em being emptied. I cleaned it out, soaked everything, cleaned it out, cleaned it out. And I filled it up with, I filled it up with water. This thing is, it's tough, man. And I figure if it could hold, if it could be filled with oil, it could be filled with water. Now I'm going to use the water that's in there for a showering and whatever cleaning and stuff. I'm not going to drink out of it just in case. I don't know. Uh, so I do have my green jug over there, and now I have this here. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm thinking like maybe I, I should break this up into separate videos, but I don't like making long videos. It's a bitch to freaking upload. Tim Horton sucks when it comes to uh, uploading. This thing here is a project I've been working on for a while now. Don't do it on far though. Yeah, don't be breaking on me now. Okay. Right here. This is a fan from, well, the the blades are from a regular fan, household fan. What I bought was a few parts here. I bought a DC motor, this one right here, uh, and I bought uh, this here rubber thing for plumbing, bought an elbow, and this here for like two dollars at Canadian Tire for nothing. For nothing, for two dollars, what did I just say? Anyways, I uh, hooked up a wire, uh, hooked up a, a light bulb to it, and uh, the past couple nights we had a, a storm or so pass through and the wind really gusted up. Now the thing is, is that this thing, right, I'm sure there's some sort of current that is being generated, you know, from it. I'm sorry if the camera work here is terrible. Now, as you can see right here, I had to put this on it. You know, that's the motor, that's this, this. And the rest. I put a little light bulb to the wire. The wire is on the inside of this, obviously. And it has to spin incredibly fast just to get that light bulb just to barely light up. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. I don't have a voltmeter with me. I uh, I got rid of well, return the one that I had because uh, it seemed to be a little foobard or something. So uh, when I get a voltmeter, I'm going to retest this in the wind and see what I get out of the uh, DC motor. I have actually a, 
Where is the? I don't know. There it is. See, this is the other DC motor right here that I have. Sorry, I'm a little clumsy with the camera today. So I have two of these motors, just in case. Uh, oh, here's uh, here's my script. Script I had. You know, for uh, maybe I shouldn't have shown that. But script. Yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, yeah. So uh, that wind generator fan thing, little experiment I'm working on. Acting. Um, you know what? I'm looking to get back into it as much as I can. I just love it. I love doing it. The fact is that it's hard to get the work. So I'm thinking, fuck it, I'm going to just do uh, do extra work even. You know, they, they pay like 10 to $13 an hour doing extra work. I'm going to go sign up with a company that gets me extra work and that's that. So whatever, I'm doing what I have to do and uh, doing what I want to do, you know. Uh, that's it. Uh, sorry if this thing is, uh, this video is a long ramble. Uh, am I covering the mic with my thumb? No. Okay, good. That's it. Soup, hot chocolate on a hot September's day still. Why? Because uh, I like it. <laughs> and acting, fan, the windmill generator thing. Alright, folks, and the water thing. I don't know. I think I'm tired or something. No, I'm not tired. I'm actually bummed out. I met someone I like. That's always an issue. Later.